Welcome to the New World Wrestling Spot. My name is Tim. Today I am here with a up and coming wrestler that you should know. Someone who, well, I can't even tell you that. Her name is T. Jones. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing all right. Um, the first question I always ask, and um, thank you for giving us this time, is what started your love for wrestling and what you love wrestling? I got into wrestling when I was 12. My cousin, I was standing out with him and we were wrestling on to the PC at during dinner, and I seen this man come across with white, like, face paint and sting, and I seen that, and I was like, who is that? And then that's like the one question that started from there. And my cousin was like, I got to show you about this. And we stayed up all night looking at wrestlers and all that stuff. And I went home and I showed my dad, I was like, let's watch wrestling together. And he was like, something like the attitude and stuff. And I'm like, go. I was like, no, it's changed. It's changed now. It's given a chance. And so we started watching it together. And that became all the that we had with each other. And it just went on from there. I was going to wrestling shows, uh, watching it every week, and then it's just sprouted from there. Um, you said Steam with the face paint, so I have to ask. Steam just came back on AEW. Like, are you excited about it? I'm very excited. Right when it came on, um, I'm like running up to my dad, and I'm about to show him on my phone, and he's showing me on his phone at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's great. Now, with your since T Bangs is a wrestler, she's training right now. Can you uh, let us know where you're training at? What was that question? Can you let us know where you're training at? I'm trained at Flatbacks Wrestling School in Orlando. It's in the Apopka area with Matthew Quint and Ronnie Arnell, and they are just phenomenal. Um, I tell everyone about Flatback and how great it is, and some of them is like, well, you've only been to one wrestling school, so how can you compare it like to others? And I just found that that experience was just amazing, how hands-on they are, no matter how many students they have, they're always one-on-one -on -one working and tailoring to every student there, and just the atmosphere of being comfortable and knowing that you're safe and that you're in good hands as your coaches and trainers. Okay, um, so how did you get into wrestling? What's your background? Um, I started weightlifting in middle school in seventh grade. Um, I was doing push-ups one day in PE, just ordinary push-ups, and my teacher came up to me. He's like, "You ever thought about doing weightlifting?" I was like, "No," but I went on to the team and I did some competitions. I was kind of in and out of it since I was so young. And then I got really dedicated in high school. And in my senior year, I went state for girls weightlifting. And then after that, weightlifting kind of lingered into powerlifting. I competed in some powerlifting competitions. And I qualified for the USAPL um, national meet. And I had everything booked and ready to go. But there was just something in my heart. I was like, I'm, I don't want to be a powerlifter. I knew my dream was always to be a wrestler. And, I already had the tickets and stuff booked for me to go to this powerlifting meet. And then I just sat my dad down one day and I was like, I, I need to go to Orlando. I need to go to Flatbacks. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you, you had tickets purchased and everything for this weightlifting competition, but you said, I want to follow my dream and actually become a wrestler. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. I, I, I'm expecting big things. I, I got to keep it inside of me, but you know, we, we, we come across each other, so I, I've seen some things that Taylor has done to games. Um, now, let me ask you this. Let's get into it. Um, what's one of the things, or uh, one of the most important things you learned there during your training, starting up? Um, the biggest thing that I learned is to come out of your shell. I was so shy growing up, and I didn't speak and was spoken to. Um, I joked with my flatbacks how before I went there, I couldn't even order food at a subway because I was just so scared just talking to people. And so they, the biggest thing I learned was to come out of your shell. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid of looking dumb or stupid. Just be genuine and be yourself. 
Hey, well, I'm glad you came out your share that this conversation would be happening right now. <laughs> um, now, let me ask you this. Going in training everything, how long have you been training? Um, this October made one year. Oh. Um, have you had any matches yet? I still not a whole lot of detail. I do have some stuff coming up that you guys so it was an exciting news. I can't everything this yet, but this Okay, okay, understandable. We'll be watching in 2021. And so at the end of the 2020, let's see here. Aaron makes a wish list out here in wrestling. Um, if you don't want any looking at the wrestlers, they have a wish list of people who they hate they want to face. Um, if I ask you three names of people that you would want to face in your career, could you give me three names? Three names. Let's see. Of course, I would love to go with Charlotte. Mm -hmm. So long I looked at her, she was at the very top. And of course, you want to go to the top because that's the spot that you want to be on. And mm -hmm. just the respect that I have um, for her and all that she's done in wrestling. Many people think, oh, you get there because of your last name. So you can tell the hope that she's put in to, to get where she is. So through respect, I will definitely want Charlotte. I'll face her. And of course, Bailey. She's one that I grew up watching and met a couple of times at wrestling shows. And she's a tough one. And I like tough. So I love to go with her. And I know that, you know, men and women, they don't go. But I think that I can give Sean Spears a little run for his money. But that's just me. <laughs> so, I mean, people who do in the gender of stuff, a lot of our spotlights we have in the gender of people who have been in the gender matches. Sean Spears, why don't you try to change like that? What happened? Well, I mean, I'll love to go with Sean Spears with all. The John is good bit. Mm. Right. You have to write that down in the notebook. <laughs> Team Daniel versus Sean Spears coming soon. I don't, I, I don't know, but we're gonna put it in the atmosphere and hopefully it does happen. Um, now, now let's go back. You, you said you saw some screen going up. Are there any other wrestlers that came out to you this afternoon? Um, what was that? Any other wrestlers growing up? Yeah, any other wrestlers besides Steam that um, growing up that you liked? Yes, um, Paige was a really big influence on me in getting into wrestling. Um, I loved her just because she just had that dominance. Like when she stepped in a room, she just calls people's attention to look at her. Um, she just has that stage presence of toughness. And I. Related to that through my weightlifting and powerlifting, like when I stepped on the platform, what I did derived the attention and I felt confident and I could see the confidence in her when, as she's going to the ring. So I was very drawn to her and I actually, my ring gear is kind of inspired by the gear that she's had in the past. So I definitely saw her from Paige. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> um, so, so hard heading things in. Um, so, let me ask you this 2021. There is a lot of things that are going on in 2021. Now, you're in the Florida area. But do you plan to, I like to say this thing about no boundaries. Do you plan to excursion out of Florida and go into other areas so people can get to know you? Yes, I'm definitely down for the travel. That's one of the greatest things I think is about wrestling is how it's not just tied to one area that they go all over the world to reach and connect with people. And that's very exciting because I live on a farm. <laughs> I'm excited to get out there and travel wherever the wrestling is to take me. Now, this is the time right now for women's wrestling where a lot of 
A lot of women's promotions are coming up. A lot of chances out here. I think you're a star. I believe you're going to be a star. Um, so I, I can't wait to see the more things that happen. But what we're going to do here, because we're just going to call this a trip, because we're going to bring Taylor back when we have um, Ashley from the Pretty Hills on and some things happen, and then we can give you more. But Taylor, what I do at this point is called a put yourself over moment. This is where you let everyone know your social media, if you have any t-shirts out there, or anything you have going on that you want the people to know about to be able to support you. We just want you to put yourself over. Okay. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> There's a difference between ordinary and extraordinary. And for so long, I lived in that little fine line in between. And it took grinding, it took cracking open that cell, it took pain and being broken to get me to where I am now. I'm not ordinary, I'm not in the middle, I'm extraordinary. And it took me a while for me to map myself, but I feel I never think about it because I'm the one that felt. I cannot wait to show the whole world who T Gain is. I figured out for myself, and through wrestling in the ring, I will let you guys know too. Mm. Let me know your social media access so they can start following you. Cause... <laughs> uh, can you let me know your Instagram and Twitter so they can follow you? Oh, yeah, all my social media is at T underscore games. T underscore games. Listen, T games, you are the first, well, second person. The first person was baby me before her retirement match, but you came on and cut a promo. And that's really what the Put Yourself Over moment is about. So I can't wait to see this journey here. And I, I like what you just did right there. Oh, got to ask you one more question for you, though. Rock or Stone Coat. I gotta go with the rock. Okay. See, has got plenty points. She went with the rock here. <laughs> but 2021, this is gonna be actually, you know, this will be our last spotlight of 2020. So, Team Games in 2021, you hear the name. I'm just saying, a lot of people who told me their name a few months later. They come up, and I'm like, we just talked to them about that. So this would be one of them. Um, positive vibes. It, it will be one of them. So two things. I, mean, I appreciate you for giving us this time. Um, don't do just yet. But I'm Terry, and as I always say, if I love wrestling and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. It's too sweet for the culture. I love wrestling, and you love wrestling? Then we You're not here, you missing out. Is this show? This is